White Bulls Barbecue, the best damn barbecue ever. Mm. Welcome back barbecue fam, Chris here from White Bulls Barbecue and today we are doing a 60 day dry aged brisket. Mind blown. We got it rolling, 215 super smoke. We're gonna do that for four hours and then we're gonna crank it to 250 the rest of the way. I cannot wait. Let's do the damn thing. Hit that like and subscribe. All right guys, after you season it, we're gonna put it in foil, leave it go overnight in the fridge. Let's do it, we'll see you in the morning. So to really explain what this smells like, it smells like maple wood because those are the pellets we're using, but it smells almost like peanuts. All right guys, so we've been rolling about four hours now on Super Smoke at 215. The birds are chirping, the brisket is a smoking. Let's check the temp on this. sitting right around 160. We'll be back in about an hour to wrap it at the five hour point. 60 day dry age, let's get it. All right guys, we're gonna check the temperature and see if it's ready for a wrap. I think it is. like we're stalling around 161. We're gonna give it another half hour and then we're gonna wrap it. All right, we got a 60 day dry age, incredible dry age brisket here. The smell is insane. Uh, I really can't even pinpoint what it smells like. It's just very rich and to me it has a nutty fragrance. Like, I don't know exactly peanuts, but definitely something, there's something there. So I'm gonna try to split this decal, which looks like it wants to split by itself. Waterfall coming out of that deco. Wow. Y'all ready? Instead of cutting it halfway right here and then squeezing all the juice out of it, this is how you really see what's up between your flat and point. Dry age waterfall. You just gained your admission. All right. Looks like, wanna get these grains perfect. 
flip it over. This is so incredibly juicy and the, the fragrance is insanity. Wow, you know how you know this is butter guys. Because when I slice it, it doesn't even really react. It just kind of lays there as the blade goes through it. Yes, these blades are sharp, but look, I'll show you again. Did you guys hear this brisket? Come on, DJ brisket over here, bro. And for those who wanted a meat squeeze, I'm sorry, we don't do that over here. But the fragrances coming out of this are literally undescribable. The only way I would even try to describe it is amazing. Let me finish cutting this point, I mean this flat, and then we're gonna get some taste test going here before we move on to the point. But the smell test is a pass, a strong pass. And you know what, we'll do the pull test right now. Ready? Butter. This is ridiculous. Here, I'm gonna try it. What the f Oh my god. Oh my god. Bro. Wow. That's magic. Alright guys. We got us the little, uh, the end piece here. Look at this. I mean, this is incredibly tender. Wow. The flat was insane. Usually the flat is the dry part. Nothing about this is dry. Look at this. Separating like a bad divorce, all right? Let's go, we're about to cut this point. Look at that. That is unlike anything I've ever seen on a brisket, and I mean that honestly. This is insane, guys. Hold up. Do you see this? What? Let's get us a good slice. Wow. Hold up. Alright, so this is unlike anything I've ever really seen on a point. It's like the fat and the meat are almost all the same color. I'm gonna try this. Nice bark still on there. This is that pulled hog. I figured the sugar and pulled hog will really combat the rich, rich flavor of the age. Oh man. The point has even more of the flavor. One last look. That's your point. Incredibly juicy. I'm gonna finish cutting this up and get my pictures, guys. Comment what you wanna see below, hit that like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Here's one last look. Just plain stupid. Barbecue, the best day.